Greetings, travelers. Our last test was a big, badass 4570 plus P hard cast monster. As impressive as a chunk of lead hauling ass is, it's only a roughly cylindrical chunk of lead. It isn't substantively much different from a bullet you could buy a century and a half ago. What happens when you combine modern bullet technology with this old timey baller of a cartridge? To find out, let's hit the range with a Marlin Model 1895 Trapper loaded with Hornady's 4570-325 grain FTX Lever Revolution. All right, so not only did this bullet pass entirely through both of these blocks, the high speed triggered prematurely, capturing video of the block just sitting here prior to being shot. So I'm gonna have to take another shot at this. <laughs> but you can see that it seriously messed up this block a lot more than most things would. It's kind of a subjective assessment. Let's uh, let's take another shot and see if we can capture a bullet and some high speed. Oh man! All right, guys, that's insane. Thirty-three inches of penetration, so literally a yard. <laughs> and of course, it expanded big. It's moving pretty fast for such a fat bullet. That's legit. Let's take a look at the bullet. Wow, that is just such a chunky piece of lead here. The uh, front face of the bullet is super smooth, almost shiny. You can see that it did drop some fragments along the way, so we're not gonna have 100% weight retention here, but that's still a really big chunk of lead. Take a look. Look how nice and big that expansion is. That's like my thumb. By the power of Grayskull, that was amazing. It's hard to exaggerate anything about this caliber. I just can't get over the enormity of the bullets and the speed they're moving. As big and bad as it is, it's only huge and fast compared to other cartridges. The funny thing is that this is kind of a light load in 4570, and that isn't necessarily a bad thing either. It provides enough mass and energy to do a really good job on like any critter I can think of. This load would be absolutely suitable for defense against any North American animal, but that 430 grain plus P monster we tested last week would probably be a better choice for hunting the ginormous nuclear powered critters in the great white north than it is for defense. Defending yourself from attack means being able to shoot quickly enough to get a few chances at putting a bullet where it needs to go to stop an attack. You can definitely shoot this lever revolution a lot faster. 
This felt more like regular hunting 12 gauge than the 430 grain angry can of hate and pain from the last test. I'm not a Yukon outfitter though, so I don't know how much penetration is needed to hunt moose or Kodiak grizzlies or to defend against chupacabra. What do you folks think? Would you consider this enough gun to defend against any critter? What kind of critter would it take for you to say this load just isn't enough to be safe? The spectacular high-speed video featured in this video was created with a camera provided by Aimed Research. If you'd like to find out how you can rent a camera exactly like the one I used to create this, give them a call. Their contact information is in the description down below. Now, you know that social media has been suppressing the reach of content like this, and the best thing that you can do to fight back is to engage with the content by liking, sharing, and commenting. If you want to support us and also get some fly gear at the same time, take a look at our Teespring store. Thanks for watching. Be excellent to each other.